Hi, I'm Chung Nguyen, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Nokia N900 smartphone, which Nokia calls a mini computer because it runs on a Linux core. The operating system in this device is called the MIMO Linux OS, and in this generation, it is MIMO 5, which, like Google Android, is based on Linux. <laughs> Unlike other previous N-series devices from Nokia, the Nokia N900 takes a departure from the Symbian operating system, otherwise known as S60, and uses the MIMO 5 OS. In the first part of the video, we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing of the device and see what's included in the box. In part two, we're going to go ahead and do a hardware tour and compare it to other devices on the market, such as the HTC Touch Pro 2 and the Motorola Droid on Verizon Wireless. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and explore some of the features of MIMO 5. In the box, you have a wall charger which connects to the device via a micro USB port. Also, you have a micro USB to USB connector for connecting the device to your computer. There's also a um, TV out cable which connects to the device via a 3.5mm audio and video out port. Speaking of audio, Nokia also bundles in-ear earphones which uses a soft tip silicone ear gel that connects um, to the audio video out port, um, output port. There's also a soft cloth for wiping down the device, a battery, and some user manuals and warranty information. Let's go ahead and take a look at the hardware of the Nokia N900. The N900 is a multimedia capable uh, device because it's part of the N-series family, which uses a Carl Zeiss optics for the camera. The camera has a sliding lens cover and features a 5 megapixel camera with dual LED flash on the back. The camera can also record video in DVD quality at 800 by 480 widescreen resolution. There's also a kickstand here, which when flipped out, you can um, place the device on a flat viewing surface and operate the device that way. Um, in order to remove the back battery cover, you just insert a fingernail and start prying and lifting the battery cover off. In the device, underneath the battery, which one is um, installed already, you have the um, SIM card tray. In the US, the Nokia N900 operates on the T-Mobile Advanced Wireless Spectrum Network and will not be compatible for 3G speed on AT&T um, 3G network, although it is a quad-band unlocked phone. The device features a micro SDHC card slot, which is accessible without having to remove the battery, which is a nice feature. The device also has 32 uh, gigabytes of onboard memory, which is capacious enough to fill your device with music, video, and photos. Also, the N900 features 1 gig of application memory, of which 256 megabytes is reserved for RAM, so you should be able to multitask with ease on the device. The Nokia N900 has a resistive touchscreen that measures 3.5 uh, inches diagonally. The touchscreen um, is viewable with 16 million colors and offers great color contrast and clarity. It is a resolution 480 by um, 800, which is wide VGA format. On the device, the device is meant to be used as an internet tablet with phone features, so it is meant to be used in landscape mode. You have a hardware QRD keyboard along with an on-screen QRD keyboard as well. The hardware keyboard is roughly the same size as the one found on the Motorola Droid. If you line up the A key and the L key in the middle row, they're roughly about the same. However, the Droid has a flat keyboard, whereas the Dome keys on the N900 offers great um, tactile feedback and there's a nice um, key movement as well. The touchscreen is very sensitive and offers um, a great feel despite it being a resistive um, variant. MIMO 5 offers four home screens for you to place widgets and shortcuts, including visual shortcuts to um, to internet pages. Here we have the Pocket Now page um, set up already on default. 
So if you tap the Pocket Now page, it should launch the Mozilla browser, which is custom made for the N900. The Mozilla browser can support Ajax and other third-party plugins, including Adobe Flash 9.4, which will render a, a lot of pages beautifully, including banner ads and YouTube videos. In my experience, Hulu videos played um, okay. I mean, Hulu videos load, but the quality isn't great. You'll be basically getting um, video slideshows instead of true video, and you will also get um, stuttering um, audio clarity as well. So while the page is loading, you can zoom in by double tapping, or you can use the hardware um, button here, which in normal mode operates the volume controls, but if you're in a web page or in the camera, you can use the, um, the hardware button to zoom in or out. Nokia also uses a gesture-based um, feature on the touch screen, so you just scroll in a circular motion here and the content zoom in and scroll counterclockwise to zoom out. Let's go ahead and explore um, the desktop further. On the desktop, you can customize the desktop with additional widgets or you can remove the ones that um, come preloaded on the device just by Xing out of it. You can move the widgets around, you can move them to different screens as well, which is a similar feature that we found on Samsung's TouchWiz UI or on the Google Android operating system on the Droid. Also as well, let's go ahead and done. You have, um, a separate programs menu here which will give you access to additional programs that you may not have space for on your home screen for shortcuts or widgets. The Nokia N900 features the power button in the middle at the top of the device in landscape mode. Here you already saw the volume up and down control or the zoom features on the web browser and the camera. You also have the dual um, mode camera button which when you press in once focuses and if you press in again will capture a picture. At the far right side you have an infrared port which is a novelty on today's market for uh, smartphones. On the right hand side you have um, one of the two speakers, the device has stereo speakers. You'll also find another speaker on the left hand side. Um, here you have the screen toggle button which toggles the lock screen. And also you have the TV and audio output port which is three and a half millimeters. There is also a stylus which isn't the best quality but it is doable. On the left hand side you also have the uh, micro USB charging port. There is nothing really on the bottom and the device has a metal frame but plastic, uh, a plastic body that is well built much like the Touch Pro 2. Compared to the Touch Pro 2, the device has a better screen um, with better contrast and better color rendering. Um, the device is a little bit thicker, the N900 um, is a little bit shorter than the Verizon Wireless Touch Pro 2. On the front of the device you have a VGA quality um, web camera, light sensor to control the um, automatically control the screen brightness, as well as LED um, light indicators for notifications and to alert you if the device is charging or is fully charged. The phone function on the N900 is um, unique in that it is the only program at this time to be used in portrait mode. The phone integrates nicely with some voice over IP software including Skype, although Google Voice isn't supported at this time and hopefully a third party will come in and bring Google Voice support. With the N900, multitasking is um, a really great feature and you have visual task, um, a visual task manager here where you can tap to go to different um, programs that are open or you can close programs within the task manager itself. So this has been a quick look of the Nokia N900 and the MIMO 5 operating system which runs on 
Linux. I'm Chung Wen, and stay tuned for additional content on MIMO5 on PocketNow.com.